Embark with me on a journey through Earth's most extraordinary hideaways, where every corner shelters a mystery powerful enough to upend logic and ignite pure wonder. Have you ever asked yourself how far the planet's capacity to astonish really stretches? Get ready. Over the next few pages, we will cross storms that rage nearly all year long, wander through deserts so parched they feel extraterrestrial, and behold salt flats that morph into ethereal mirrors of the sky. And if you have not subscribed and rung the bell yet, do it now so you never miss a discovery on this expedition of curiosity. Picture a place where the clouds never sleep. Lake Maracaibo in Venezuela claims the world record for lightning strikes per square kilometer, enduring roughly 260 stormy nights each year. During those spells, the sky pulses non-stop, up to 28 bolts every minute, as though a colossal light switch were stuck on. The Catatumbo Lightning, as scientists call it, mesmerizes researchers and photographers alike while fueling local legends that paint the flashes as divine breaths promising abundance and renewal. Now, imagine the most intense cold you have ever felt, multiplied several times over. In Antarctica, an exhaled breath freezes before it can drift away, forming tiny crystals that dance around whoever dares to breathe. Winter temperatures swing between negative 34 degrees Celsius and negative 40 degrees Celsius. The perfect laboratory for probing Earth's climatic past and future. Every gust there carries secrets from remote eras, locked inside ice cores that bold drillers extract to reveal 100,000-year chronicles. Still on the White Continent, the McMurdo Dry Valleys rival Mars for aridity, some pockets have not seen rainfall in millions of years, and razor-sharp winds scrub away any hint of moisture. This frozen desert, strewn with exposed rocks and ancient sediments, offers priceless clues to geological and atmospheric processes hidden elsewhere on the planet. So alien that rovers are trial-run here before touching down on other worlds. Then comes Bolivia's Salar de Uyuni, which during the rainy season becomes a 10,000 square kilometer liquid mirror, reflecting clouds, stars, and adventurous travelers who dare to tread its shallow waters. In the dry months, a mosaic of hexagonal salt polygons emerges, dazzling anyone who gazes across its white expanse. Scientists worldwide study crystal patterns and salinization here and treat the flat as an open-air lab for decoding regional climate evolution. Beneath our feet, Earth's crust seems to follow whims of its own, sculpting shapes that mock everyday logic. Imagine finding an island inside a lake, itself nested on another island that sits within a volcano's lake. That geological matryoshka is Vulcan Point in the Philippines, where every centimeter of rock records eruption, magma chamber collapses, and quiet erosion. Proof that the planet plays hide-and-seek with geography's rules. Leap now to the roof of the world. Mount Everest soars 8,746 meters above sea level. Yet, it is no frozen statue. The relentless shove of tectonic plates raises it by roughly 4 millimeters, less than half a centimeter each year. A nearly invisible reminder that even the mightiest structures are always changing. Repeated over eons. These tiny boosts trace the subtle rhythm of Earth's internal drive, from the highest peak to one of the planet's heftiest pillars, Mauna Loa in Hawaii. Although only a bit more than 2,900 meters break, the ocean's surface, its submerged base, plunges far deeper, granting the volcano a true height exceeding 17,000 meters, surpassing Everest when measured from seabed to summit. By volume, it reigns supreme, a sleeping titan whose vast shield of basalt bears witness to the titanic energy pulsing beneath Earth's crust. We turn our eyes downward to humanity's boldest descent toward the mantle, the Kola Superdeep. Borehole in Russia reached 12,260 meters before extreme temperatures above 180 degrees Celsius, forced abandonment. Started in 1970, the project delivered ancient rock samples 
calls and eerie recordings of muffled subterranean rumbles, as though we were hearing Earth's heartbeat in an unimaginable tempo. In the Black Sea, a submarine current of dense, salty water laden with cold sediments plunges through undersea canyons, forming inverted waterfalls flanked by black mud walls. Invisible to ordinary eyes, this flow equals the discharge of the world's sixth largest river and drags sulfide rich water into anoxic depths where almost nothing survives. Lake Baikal in Siberia is so limpid that visibility can reach 40 meters. The planet's largest reservoir of liquid fresh water hosts the Nerpa, its own freshwater seal, and more than 1,500 endemic species. At 13, Degrees north of the Arctic Circle, winter ice blooms into geometric mosaics that crackle like sparklers in polar sunlight. The Dead Sea lies 432 meters below sea level, Earth's lowest exposed point. With salinity above 33%, it lets anyone float effortlessly. Minerals such as potassium, magnesium, and bromine line the shore, while its therapeutic mud is prized for anti-inflammatory properties. Yet the lake drops nearly one meter in depth each year, squeezed by growing irrigation demands. By contrast, Lake Natron in Tanzania sports a pH that can top 11, thanks to high sodium carbonate. Birds brave enough to sip its waters sometimes calcify into uncanny red-tinged statues, victims of algae that tint the lake like a sanguine aquarium. Off Tasmania, Lake Hillier glows a vivid pink, its secret an alga named Dunaliella salina that dyes the brine with carotenoids. Unlike Senegal's Lake Retba, Hillier keeps its rosy hue even when bottled, as if the water were enchanted ink. Russia spans more than 17 million square kilometers, an area larger than Pluto's 16.6 million square kilometers. Africa, at 45 million square kilometers, outweighs China, India, the United States, Argentina, Mexico, and almost all of Europe combined. Australia stretches roughly 4,000 kilometers east to west, wider than the moon's 3,474 kilometer diameter. Despite covering five geographic time zones, China runs on a single Beijing standard, coordinated universal time plus eight hours. So solar noon in the far west can arrive around three o'clock local time. Greenland's 2,100,000 square kilometers of ice lose roughly 200 gigatons each year to accelerated melting, nudging global sea levels upward. Glaciers there can be 4,000 meters thick, beneath which ancient rock canyons slumber, glimpsed only by seismic surveys. Eastern Antarctica's ice sheet holds enough frozen water to raise oceans by more than 50 meters if it ever melted entirely. Did you know the Great Barrier Reef, stretching over 2,300 kilometers, is the largest living structure on Earth and shelters more than 1,600 fish species? Visible from space, the reef battle, periodic, outbreaks of crown of thorns, starfish, ravenous predators that can erase swaths of coral in months. Scientists now deploy underwater drones and environmental DNA mapping to pinpoint hotspots and guide coral grafting restorations. The boreal forest, also called the taiga, blankets about 13% of Earth's land and locks away nearly one-third of all terrestrial carbon in its soils and timber. Warming-fueled wildfires are releasing that carbon back to the air, threatening to trigger feedback loops more potent than those linked to the Amazon should the taiga lose 20% of its canopy. Speaking of the Amazon, the world's largest tropical biome harbors over 10% of all known biodiversity. Its river pours roughly 20% of the planet's fresh water into the oceans and sustains thousands of indigenous communities speaking more than 300 languages. Electric fish, river dolphins, and giant lilies called Victoria. Regia color, an ecosystem so rich that dozens of new species are cataloged yearly. Istanbul has bridged two continents for more than two millennia. Ottoman mosques, Byzantine palaces, and bustling bazaars narrate histories that shaped trade between Europe and Asia. Each dawn, trains and ferries cross the Bosporus, carrying nearly 10 million souls, forging a cultural crucible where past and present echo in every cobblestone. 
In Whittier, Alaska, nearly all 200 residents live inside 14-story Begich Towers, which houses the school, grocery store, clinic, and even a church. Supplies arrive through a single tunnel almost two kilometers long, turning apartment corridors into the town's main thoroughfares. Heracleion, drowned in the Nile Delta for over a millennium, resurfaced in 2000 with submerged temples, and a colossal statue of a moon drifting among intact columns. Divers recovered priests' funerary urn, amulets and Greek coins, revealing a bustling seaport lost to mysterious collapse. Monowai, Nebraska, stands as a counterweight to Tokyo, while the Japanese megacity tops 37 million inhabitants, Monowi has one resident. She runs a 5,000-book library and a tavern for occasional travelers, acting simultaneously as mayor, librarian, and bartender. Mount Disappointment in Australia rises 860 meters and earned its name in 1824, when explorers seeking a sweeping vista found only stony plateau. Today, hiking trails reach lookouts capturing the very disappointment of old, yet reward trekkers with vast valley panoramas. The Andes, stretching 7,000 kilometers, host Ojos del Salado, the world's tallest volcano at nearly 6,900 meters and guard 40% of global copper reserves. Frozen there, extinct ice caps preserve Andean mummies thousands of years old. At the Grand Canyon, the deepest exposed rocks sit 1,857 meters below the rim. Each layer tells of ancient deserts, shallow seas, or lush floodplain, creating microclimates that range from pine forest above to arid gulch below. Four Corners, the single point where Arizona, Utah, Colorado, and New Mexico meet, marks the United States' only four-state nexus, commemorated by a sandstone monument in the high desert. China and India together count more than 2 billion, 800 million people, roughly one-third of humanity, and their combined gross domestic product rivals, that of the entire European Union. Canada's 40 million citizens share 10 million square kilometers, giving provinces lower density than some city neighborhoods, whereas California squeezes nearly the same population into a far smaller area. The Maldives, made up of 1,192 coral isles, sit mostly under one meter above sea level, rendering the nation acutely vulnerable to rising oceans. By contrast, Australia boasts 59,736 kilometers of coastline. Visiting one beach per day would take 26,000 years. Since 1962, Nepal has flown the world's only non-rectangular national flag, two crimson triangles symbolizing the Himalayas and the fusion of Hinduism and Buddhism. Sudan shelters more than 250 Nubian pyramids built between 2,500 and 500 years before, Christ by the Kingdom of Kush. New Zealand hosts a hill bearing a Maori name of 85 letters that honors a legendary flautist's exploits. Above the Arctic Circle in Norway, the sun refuses to set from May through July, flooding villages with perpetual daylight and nudging residents' body clocks into creative routines. In contrast, Las Vegas blazes with roughly 4,000 looks after dark. Astronauts call its signs a luminous carpet, drawing over 50 million visitors annually. Chile's Atacama Desert is the driest non-polar place on Earth. Some weather stations have registered no rainfall for decades. Yet hardy microbes cling to life where coastal fog condenses, a setting so Mars-like that scientists test rovers amid its ochre flats. Dead Vlay in Namibia fans out as a white salt, pan ringed by dunes 300 meters high, where four-century-old acacia trunks stand fossilized, silhouetted black against baking sand. At zenith, the sun's glare ripples off the salt bed, making it shimmer like a frozen sea. Socotra Island in Yemen, dubbed the Galapagos of the Indian Ocean, hosts flora and fauna found nowhere else. Chief among them is the dragon's blood tree, its umbrella crown, trapping scarce moisture to nurture carnivorous plants and endemic insects. Venezuela's Angel Falls plunges 976 meters. 
Earth's tallest uninterrupted drop, water atomizes to mist before reaching the jungle floor, birthing a near-permanent rainbow. When sunlight strikes just right, explorers only reached its base in the mid-20th century after battling dense forests and treacherous river, lake. Titicaca, straddling Peru and Bolivia at 4,111 meters, is the world's highest navigable lake. Indigenous fishers there still glide on Totora reed rafts used for over two millennia, while legends tell of a submerged civilization revealed when a full moon perfectly mirrors upon the still surface. Off Belize, a vast blue sinkhole more than 320 meters wide drops 128 meters into cobalt depths. Born of limestone cave collapse during glacial ages, the Great Blue Hole lures divers to sharks and submerged stalactites, ghosts from eras when seas lay much lower. Utah's quaking aspen clone known as Pando sprawls across nearly 130 hectares and weighs about 6,000 tons, its interconnected roots estimated at least 8,000 years old. Each trunk is genetically identical, a living testament to resilience since the last ice age. Pamukkale in Turkey cascades thermal springs over travertine terraces that resemble alabaster glacier. Calcium-rich water fills natural pools, where healers have prescribed soaks for arthritis and skin ailments since antiquity. At dawn, the terraces reflect rose skies, as though sculpted from liquid porcelain. Bloodfalls on Antarctica's western flank oozes briny water rich in iron oxide, staining pristine ice a vivid red like an open wound. The source is a subglacial lake sealed beneath nearly 400 meters of ice for at least one million years, where microbes endure total darkness and anoxia. Nevada's fly geyser erupts every second within the Black Rock Desert, laying down prisms of silica so colorful they appear extraterrestrial sculptures. Jets around 70 degrees Celsius build mineral spires that now tower two meters high. Mauritania's Eye of the Sahara spans 145 kilometers, its concentric sandstone and limestone layers whispering half a billion years stories carved by wind and ardent sun. Spotted Lake in British Columbia freckles each summer with mineral pools, magnesium, calcium, sodium, that crystallize into green, yellow, and white spots, painting a natural mosaic seemingly brushed by Han. The chocolate hills of the Philippines count more than 1,200 conical mounds scattered over limestone plateau. In the dry season, their vegetation withers to brown, hence the name, before reviving to vibrant green once the rains return. Under New Zealand's North Island, the Waitomo Glowworm Caves glitter with over 30,000 bioluminescent larvae hanging from vaults, weaving a starry tapestry that guides silent boats along underground rivers lighted only by their blue haze. China's Danxia landforms unveil sandstone cliffs streaked crimson, orange, and gold. 60 million year layer, stacked like brush strokes across the landscape. Mount Roraima in the Guiana Highlands rises sheer for 1,000 meters to a tabletop summit, serving as inspiration for Arthur Conan Doyle's novel, The Lost World. It shelters endemic plants tough enough to thrive amid relentless rain and ultraviolet glare. Romania's Movil Cave stayed sealed for 5 million years, fostering a chemical ecosystem whose air bears up to 20% hydrogen sulfide. Discovered in 1986, it hosts blind, pigmentless scorpions, centipedes, and crustaceans that have traded sight for survival in eternal blackness. If this voyage through Earth's mysteries sparked your imagination, leave a like, subscribe, and ring the bell so we can set out together on future expeditions. Share the video with friends who love exploring the unknown and tell us in the comments which geographic marvel amazed you most. Who knows, it might star in our next adventure. Until the next discovery.